New Mexico's new quarter billion dollar spaceport is now definitely taking its futuristic final form. The giant runway is almost finished and the roof is going on the terminal building. Pilot reporter Bob Martin has the latest with a view from Sky Ranger. Its superstructure now at full height, the terminal hangar facility is where spacecraft will be prepared and visitors and passengers will gather. Aircraft and spacecraft will rest in the center of the wide central hangar. Alongside, giant air tubes are being covered with earth to help keep building temperature stabilized and reduce energy needs. As the roof goes on, crews inside are busy with plumbing, elevators, and more framing. We've got about 600 people working out here right now uh, on this project. And in this economic times, this is real economic stimulus. These metal beams that are being erected in the center of the hangar are actually only temporary. The roof will ultimately be freestanding. A central taxiway provides a route out to the main runway, a 200-foot wide, 10,000-foot long stretch of concrete, where journeys to space will begin in earnest. The first paying space tourists are not coming anytime soon. Tests of the Virgin Galactic ships are expected to take another year or two in California. In New Mexico, crews have been fighting wind, rain, cold, and heat far from the nearest town. We have to plan in a lot ahead, you know, to make sure that we have all the materials, equipment, and especially the forces, you know. It's one of the hardest things to keep when we work in way, way away from the big towns. Construction is a little behind schedule, but each day now brings noticeable progress. You know, this project's been talked about for some 20 years, and it was always hypothetical, it was always a dream, and now the people that have heard it talked about for 20 years are actually seeing it happen. Dedication of the runway is set for October. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13, near TRC. Very cool. Spaceport America will not only host the Virgin Galactic Space Tourist, the existing site where traditional unmanned rockets are already being launched is also being expanded to handle larger boosters.